All right, look what we got. The DJI Mini 2, first flight, first snow. Let's go. Too many rhymes, sorry. See that? Doing a wide angle panorama. So that's one reason why you might want to upgrade from the DJI Mini 1, get the number two, or just get the Mini 2 if you don't have one because there's better photography options. But if that's not your cup of tea, then don't upgrade. I don't know what to tell you. All right, so no hiccups so far, but it is worth noting that when I first took off with this, the drone did not want to connect instantly. I mean, I, I connected it at my house before I got out here, but I had to do a controller dance to get it to connect. But other than that, it seems to be working fine. So initial thoughts when using the Mini 2, feels a bit snappier and a little bit quicker, I mean all around, as it should because it has the new motors to handle up to level 5 wind resistance. On a side note, it sounds a little bit less like a Mosquito than the OG Mini did. Not saying it's quieter, it might be, but it's a bit more discreet and less ear grabbing, which is nice in a low key package like this, just to be more covert with your flying. As for the controller layout, I didn't think I'd like it as much as I do, for a few reasons. I mean, the butt layout is easy for the eyes to follow, and the hands, especially when they're long and lanky like mine, to lay on. OcuSync is pleasant, especially in tandem with those new Mavic Mini, I should say Mini, because it's not Mavic anymore, motors, because just feel safer and more sound to fly. Not saying that the original Mini felt unsafe, but I have crash landed it and taken it off from a few treetops after losing the original Mini before. So time will tell what the Mini 2 feels like, but on paper it should be more stable than its older brother. And on top of that, just the placement of the phone feels a lot better than the original Mini did. I mean, after all, we don't play video games like this, do we? So it's just easier for the eye to follow the monitor from top to bottom rather than bottom to top as the original controller did. So the reason I upgraded from the Mini to the Mini 2 is so I can benefit from the more well-rounded photography aspect that the Mini 2 has, the Mini 1 lacked. Now I am a fan of the panorama shots, especially the wide angle on the Mini 2 and glaringly having a raw image output on the Mini 2 is a fantastic upgrade which the Mini 1 just didn't have. All right, fly more combos, Mavic Mini 1 and the Mini 2. 
I do like the strap version a bit more. The Mini 2 doesn't come with brush guards, whereas the Mini 1 did with its fly more combo. You can use these original brush guards on your new Mini 2. Now that's one thing I really wish the Mini 2 came with, especially at its higher price point than the Mini 1, was the brush guards because they've saved my butt in numerous occasions. And I will continue using them, especially when I'm flying in inclement environments. Maybe if there's a lot of trees around, windy day, urban places, or even just my house. It's nice to have those bumpers on my drone. Here I'm talking about brush guards like they're a lot of money, but listen. It's a product that I want to protect, right? And it's also worth noting that the original Mini's batteries do work in the Mini 2, but the Mini 2 batteries don't work in the Mini 1. My body styles are virtually the same. Still have that weird low hanging profile, so wouldn't take off in large grass with either of them. The only real difference, other than some incremental millimeters larger that this one is, is this one has that 4K logo for your upselling. So, is the Mini 2 really worth the upgrade from the Mini 1? You're gonna ask yourself a few questions here. Are you gonna be flying in very high wind environments? Are you gonna be in places where there's gonna be a lot of signal interference? Do you want a more well-rounded photography experience such as the one in the Mini 2? Do you just want 4K? If all the above pertains to you, well, just go with the Mini 2 if you have the money. But I feel as though 90% of the people would be just fine with the DJI Mavic Mini 1. And this is about 90% of the drone that the Mini 2 is. Now, I feel as though a lot of the new features in the Mini 2 could have been implemented from the jump in the original Mini last year and could very well still be implemented if they wanted to. I mean, I personally would be for keeping my original Mini if it had a lot of photography features, even if it just had RAW or DNG files like the Mini 2 has. I don't see why they can't add in panorama shots or wide angle options in the original Mini. Now, I understand that the Mini series is geared towards entry level flyers, but Again, like I've said countless times on this channel, you should look at this series if you're a backpacker, a traveler, just someone that wants to pack light and not want to lug around a giant phantom drone all day. Now, personally with the Mini 2, I do like that they fleshed out the photography side of things. However, I would have liked to see 2.7K and 48 to 60 frame per second options. And maybe even their decent alike that we do see in their other drones and their Osmo Pocket series. Especially since now we do have 4K in this drone, which is their highest selling point. And the video bit rate is 100 megabytes per second. So it would be cool to have that option to play around in post-production. But aside from all of that, the Mini 2 is a great drone. So I don't wanna be a YouTuber that says it really depends on what you're doing. I'd say if you already have the Mini, I'd stick with it for now. Say the Mini 2 is going to be a better drone long term, obviously, because of after firmware updates, we might see some new features. Now, I just hope they don't abandon the Mini 1 so soon, especially because it's only a year old. I hope they come out with a few more firmware updates with it. So to close out, yes, they are both great drones for their price points. I think for value the original mini is probably going to be my go-to for the holiday season for longevity the mini 2 is going to be where it's at because they're just going to care for it more come out with better firmware update so in closing thank you for watching we're going to get more in depth with this drone in another video coming sooner than later as well as content across the board such as dslr reviews tech stuff uh drones phones etc etc you name it Follow the Instagram handle at Matt's Notes for content you've seen on this channel at Trappy Chan for fun stuff. Thank you for watching and sub. See ya.